There we go. Okay, there we go. You have some light? Oh, yeah. We have all the light in my room. Here we are. Yes. Wipe your, wipe your camera screen. Hold on a second. Cut that down. Right, the screen on the phone. There we go. And then the light, can you, can you have the light in your face? Like, turn around? All right. This in is my face? My this is good. What's your name? Bernard. Bernard, oh, Bernard where you calling me from, love? <laughs> South Florida. South Florida. You don't, you don't like shirts? Um, nope. Oh, oh. There you have it. No. Nope. How old are you, Bernard? I am 43. 43. What you do for a living? Uh, at the present time, I'm taking care of my granddad who's 96. Okay. So are you a caretaker or are you not working? Um, well, I have other businesses, but I kind of gave up that lifestyle to be here. What, what so, was the lifestyle, the businesses that you gave up? Um, I had a car detailing business, Supreme detailing business. I clean hoods and kitchens. And, you know, just like a whole motivator, you know, so. So how do you make money now that you're taking care of your granddad? Um, I got over money. Life is worth more than money. So I'm able to sustain myself through the business that I had established, I guess. Yeah, I don't worry about money. And my grandfather's is like a dinosaur. So it, it all worked itself out in the end. I worked hard all the way until I was 43. So you have money. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand because we all want to live this mm -hmm. life where money is not necessary. So you don't got no, you don't have yeah. to pay bills each month. Yeah. No. You don't no. pay. You don't got no cell phone bill. How are you calling me? Yeah. Oh, I pay my cell phone bill. Yeah, I pay my cell phone bill. I got like five lines because my sister gonna kick my butt if I don't keep the bill paid. But yeah, I pay the cell phone bill. So how do you? But get some, I mean, how do you I gave up my life to take care of my granddaddy. So when you ask about work, that's what I do. I take care of oh. old man. Okay, so you have money saved up already. Yeah, I got money saved up, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, but I don't Thank physically you. work. Okay. okay, do you have any kids? I have a child. I don't have kids. I have one son, yes. Well, I got to, I, I got to be clear. How many, how many people have been created via your sperm? Two. Two? Yeah. You just said A. You only, almost only gave me one. I gave you one, but I've had to think about the other one. <laughs> I really do have to ask questions. This, you know what? I'll try, I'll try to answer the question straight up and clear. Well, how about that? If I didn't say how many people were created from your sperm, mm -hmm. you would have just said one. Well, hold on. First of all, I didn't think you was going to even pick up after the many times I've been following you all these years. So thank you for picking up. So all my thoughts and everything is go coming into one as I'm talking. So two came from my sperm. Hold on. What the first you? one being Benjamin. Okay. And the second one, she's in uh, Georgia right now. I ain't got pictures of her yet. Okay. How about okay. that? All now, right. can I just ask you? Why were you only going to claim one child before I said how many people came from your sperm? <laughs> Why was you only going to name one at first? I can produce one. The second one, the second one, I ain't got pictures of her yet. That, 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 that this, so the second one, did you find out later in life she was your child? No, because I made my own rules, I wind up impregnate a, a married woman. So until she decides to let me know what's going on with Miracle, then I will know. Her name is Miracle. Yes, that's the name that we Miracle chose. Miracle know that you her daddy? Let's hope that the woman decides to tell her. Woo child. Why do you tell me major ass secrets? Why do y'all tell me these major ass secrets on my wild what? ass international ass Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. America, this is daddy girl. America, this is daddy. Now, America, there's a miracle out there. You've been wondering all your life who your mama said was your daddy, but you don't look nothing like him. And put your face to the camera. Smile, smile. If your name is Miracle, yeah. you look like that. That's your and daddy. And this is your brother that's right here. Mom. Yep, if you look like him too. That's Miracle, right. you got any kids? Look like his son. That's your little brother, Miracle. Now, I don't know who your mama told you who your daddy was. But you need at this moment right now to know this is your daddy, Miracle. Yeah, because her mom right might be watching your show. That's you know right. It's your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big ass secret. Yes, it is.
It is, but women are in control. Yeah. Did you know she was married when you got her pregnant? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna put the... You're, you're, you're proud of getting a married woman pregnant, sir? Um, it don't have nothing to do with my pride, but that's just how life is. Let me just say that. All right. Okay. okay. Well, we got we we we, we got there. All right. We got sure, there. That's right. Let's go. We know who we're talking to. Let's go. All right. What's your zodiac sign? Oh, I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Um. You know what? In this moment, I, I got to just take a pause. And in this moment, this is going to be a thank you to Veronica, because Veronica is the reason why now I will ask women how many people came out of your body to get the correct number of children. And while I will mm -hmm. ask men how many people have been created for your sperm. And if Veronica didn't give me that opportunity to think to be as direct, <laughs> I would have never asked Bernard that question. And That's we right. You never gotta know be that Bernard had a baby that he can't claim because it was by a uh, married woman. So, Veronica, I know your name been mentioned a lot when I come to my show all week, but this is a moment you should be proud of, Veronica. You should be proud of yeah. making sure that this question <laughs> is asked so clear that everyone has to answer it correctly. So, That's Veronica, right. That's right. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. All right. right. Bernard, back to you. Bernard, South Florida, 43, Sagittarius. Um, he takes care of his grandfather, has two kids, but one is one he's in the daddy's life. The other one, she don't know he's her daddy yet. All right. Have you ever been married, Bernard? Yeah, I have. When did you get divorced? Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> she didn't divorce me. I didn't divorce her yet. So you know this is the moment when yeah, our interview yeah. is over. The moment when the interview is over. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is huh, hold on. First of, all, first of all, first of all, first of all, we live in a world huh? where that is a bond, first of all. A marriage certificate is a bond, first okay, of all. Well, if it's and if a, a bond, woman if it's just uh -huh. a bond, do what you gotta do to Correct. get the bond broken. Well, for, hold on now. You mean to tell me people not having relationships predicated off of paperwork? Well, let me tell you something. They probably are. No, we have no relationships. Yeah, listen, let me tell you something. What, what you do mm -hmm. in your life is your business. You could probably get off this live right now and get 10 girls as a married man on paper. But no, I can't. No, I can't. Girl, that's why, I'm, come, that's why I'm on your show. And I'm, no, no, I can't. That's why I'm on your show. But I'm going because... You, you know what? Now hold on. I'm just being honest. Seven years ago, I was married seven years ago. For seven years, I've been single, taking care of my granddad ever since my wife decided to leave. So okay. I'm single, but so, I haven't yeah, so, done so anything that, in support. So, so for, how about this? When 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 you get that divorce paper, and well, I get a single, divorce paper. <laughs> carry on. Man, I'll listen. I need to listen. Carry on. I need to listen. When you get the divorce paper, mm -hmm. you can call us back, okay? And you better uh, respond back to me because I will keep the same picture that's on my uh, Facebook. That's right. What? Yeah, because I get it. I ran into that conversation before. I get it. I ran into that conversation before. Ran into what conversation before? That, oh, you can't have relationships because you got a uh, marriage still going on. But it's not even like a marriage if you're not present. That's, so that's, that's the difference. Listen, but here's the deal. Let me break this down for all the people who are wondering why this rule got implemented. You might be right, but it also shows that you ain't taking care of the priorities of your life. You've been married to somebody. Let me finish. Different situation, I expect. Go what? ahead, Gary. I told you, you my situation. I said the wife left, granddaddy called me in. Okay, I've been under I'm, the, I'm sure. I've been on the fire and, since she left. I haven't too. had a time for myself to put her in court yet. I haven't had yeah, a, I had to have a me moment yet. In seven years, in seven years, you ain't. In fact, in fact, I just had the police called on me three days ago from one of his daughters. My grandfather had thirty six children. What are you talking about? You don't even know. I haven't had a time to myself. I haven't had a time to talk to a woman in seven years. Don't play with me, woman. 
All I've been able to do is talk to my granddaddy and don't make me take you to his room right now and show you that this is real life crap I'm talking about. I ain't playing with you. I'm living life here. Had I had time to take it to court and file the alienation or the kidnapping, I would be divorced, but I haven't had no me time. It's just taking care of my granddaddy and fighting off whatever situations here in his home. So excuse me for putting him first. After she took my first, which was, thank you very much. So yeah, you ain't you can go ahead and kill your life and not give Bernard a chance to talk to some beautiful lady who could probably come over and help me get organized and help me get situated to where I can process my thoughts in my life where I can handle taking care of granddad and move forward in court. But yeah, go ahead and keep me off and give me some time to get it together because trust me, it's in process. Okay. Yeah, yeah. oh, I rep this life too. I'm a regular Joe. If I come out, I'm coming out like the best, period. Okay. <laughs> Don't play with All me. All right. All right. Well, well Bernard, yeah. but just, I, we're going to go, but I do have this one question. If you ain't got time to do all that, how would you have time to date somebody else? That's the risk that I'm taking right now. Bye, Bernard. That's the risk that I'm bye. taking. Bye. 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 Well, I'm going to say a lady. I'm going to say I want to say a prayer for my ladies out here. It's hard. It's hard, ladies. It's hard. It's hard. I'm praying for y'all. Praying for y'all because every night, you know, I'm searching. <laughs> I'm searching, searching, searching for a good quality man for you, girl. Trust me, I am. And as you can see, every single night, y'all, you see, you see for yourself. I know some of y'all were watching saying, Kendra, you know what? The next bisexual man that come up here to act right, I'm gonna give him a chance. <laughs> Some of the ladies gonna start to consider, well, he, he all women now, well, put me in rotation. Cause I think Bernard, some of the ladies might've choose some of the, bi, the, the DL men that came on my show before they was gonna choose you, but no, I'm just gonna tell you real fast. Now I got some strong religious, ain't never wanna be with no man that been with another man, with them, but I think if they had to choose, between you <laughs> and um, a man that once upon a time wrong, they shit was 10 years ago. Ladies, you, he's a virgin, that's the past. If it happened in college, don't even think about that. If he been with vagina since college, ladies, he is in vagina. And I'm quite sure you would choose him over Bernard. I'm gonna give y'all some more time because I started late on Facebook, y'all. Let's, let's just keep going. Say a prayer for my ladies. I'm saying I feel I feel bad for my ladies. I do. I want you to have some better options. I do. Who check? <laughs>